I'm here with Jules from Let's Play Games. Jules, how has PAX been so far? PAX has been phenomenal. I've been really, really impressed by the turnout from compared to last year, but absolutely electric crowd, lots of fun going on. It's been really, really exciting. Now, the Let's Play Games area, I was about to say booth, but it's not a booth because there's about six different areas. Uh, what have you been excited to show off to the PAX goers? Yeah, we've kind of gone for the domination approach of the tabletop area. We've got yeah, as you said, many, many booths, but we've had quite a few uh, new exclusive titles that we've been excited to show off. Behind us here as well has been Apiary, the new Stonemaier game, which has been hotly received. In fact, uh, the statistics I got throughout the middle of the day on our sales was its number one selling game right now for all the stuff we're showing off. So that's been pretty cool. So we're already seeing from last year that you know, you Let's Play Games have sort of expanded out. You want to continue that next year in really sort of make tabletop uh, such a like a really destination area? Absolutely. I mean, this is the space that stays open longer than the video game hall. And it's been really exciting to see people trying all the different games, really getting into it. I'd love to expand it. We just need more people to help us out. <laughs> games Quest was something I conceptualized maybe over six months ago. Because our spaces are sort of broken over the hall, I wanted a way to bring it all together and also give back to the community that are willing to sit down, invest their time in learning the game so they can try all these demo games, give some, give out some prizes for free. But honestly, next year, I'd love to collaborate with more of the designers around the hall and make an overall experience for the whole tabletop hall to really unite the whole front that's going on here. We're excited to see uh, what Let's Play Games is on for this year and also in future years. Jules, thank you very much. My pleasure. I hope I get to put more games on the table. The first game I got to try from Let's Play Games was Sky Team, which is a two-player game where you're trying to work together to land a plane. It's a, it's a dice placement game where you have very limited communication during the round. You have to make sure that you're controlling your, the level of the plane, the speed of the plane, and then trying to clear obstacles and different things. Trying to work together and be like, oh, I can put a four there, and he should be able to adjust it because there's a coffee cup, and then I can do this, and then I... I really enjoy that element of trying to like, I'm going to hope and pray this works because I've got other uses for these dice and then we can mitigate the danger and we'll work together. Oh, yeah, uh, oh, didn't quite land it. Uh, that I really actually enjoy the game quite a lot. Now I get to play Unrest, which is a two player asymmetrical card game. We're trying to, one faction is trying to liberate uh, the city and there's five different rows where you're placing your cards there's different combinations of how you can sort of achieve those missions and your opponent has four powers which are using two and two so i really like the way that okay both factions play differently and not just oh they have it slightly different styles like no literally one is a cards one is powers that they turn over on the tokens and it was, it was a lot enough game that you could play it quickly but there was enough in here that i'm like okay this is something i really am enjoying and there, there was straight away after playing, I'm like, I want to play this again, and then I want to play the opposing faction, and then I probably want to play it again after that. So I actually really did enjoy Unrest. Now, one of the big games at PAX was Apiary, which was Stonemaier's newest game. Stonemaier is known for Wingspan, Viticulture, Scythe, just to name a couple. So it was good to sit down and have a, 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 a fair few turns of, of this big production. It's a worker placement game. You're playing bees in space uh, effectively and as you're you've got bees which have different values one one and two to start off with and as you increase your value of the bee your actions become more powerful and the way that you increase the value is you place your worker and if someone else wants to use the same spot they sort of bump you off which upgrades your worker and they get to use a spot so it's sort of a cyclical nature of like okay I'll do this action which gets me something that kind of like when I know someone else wants to use that action that I'll make my be more powerful and next turn I can really I can do this which I really want to do so seeing that in action was was kind of cool and I'm really keen to sit down and play a full proper game of this because it was quite fun I headed over to the good game publishing booth to check out Mercurial their newest title it's a strange kind of resource conversion game where you're playing mages or into sort of a chaos realm you roll dice and collect cards to perform actions to cast spells uh cast those spells to then harness either sort of chaotic energy or restoration energy to gain victory points uh it was sort of interesting to sort of get a glimpse in, into the system of 
how you are trying to maximize the sufficiency puzzle uh, with this beautiful um, artwork on these on these spells and on these cards. Um, and it was it was a fun game that I'm kind of like I didn't really get a chance to. We only played one, one sort of round, and I really need to play more to see. Okay, what's the payoff of going down this avenue versus going down that avenue? But I did enjoy the game to start off with. Now those are the games I tried from Let's Play Games. Despite really having a game group of you know three or four, I really enjoyed both two-player games. I thought Unrest and Sky Team were fantastic, and I'm keen to check them out again.